area of frequency therapy, those that are kind of specialized in that area, so that you can hear from them on this call. I'm joined by my good friend and business partner from over in Alberta, Canada, and she's going to be co-hosting this call with me, but the the main thing for you to know is that you're going to get to hear about a product that's not only attracting doctors and those people in the frequency uh, therapy space, but also those who are just health and wellness enthusiasts, those who are like, um, you know, uh, that have excelled in direct sales, and then just people that are looking for a way to have self-care and to, and be more proactive with their health. So we are we have a large audience of people that this is attracting, but tonight we're going to get to hear and ask questions from some of those who are the most knowledgeable. Before we really dive into hearing from um, some of our doctors and um, medical professionals, we're going to play a couple of short videos, if you'll bear with us for about the next four to five minutes. And if you're new to this call, you're going to see what all the excitement is about. So right now, I'm going to pass this over to my good friend, Terry Bernier. Oh, thank you so much, Sheila. And I want to take a minute just to thank everybody for joining us this evening. This was one of our most popular calls. And uh, I just want to thank all the doctors that show up on this call and for all their wonderful information that they'll be sharing tonight. So we do want to start with a couple of videos in case you're new here and uh, just to let you see what all the excitement's about. So let me just uh, start those videos. One of the greatest inventors of all time, Nikola Tesla, the genius who lit the world, once said, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Say you are listening to the radio in your car and do not like the music that you are hearing. What do you do? You change the frequency. What many people fail to realize is that we can take charge of our frequencies in the exact same way. We tend to reduce our body's anatomy down to a simplified version that consists of only flesh and blood. But everything on this planet, animals, plants, and water, are made of atoms, which produce, emit, and receive energy, which operates at a specific frequency. Everything, all our tissues, cells, organs, emotions, and thought patterns have their own unique electromagnetic fields, as do allergens, viruses, or bacteria. All things have a frequency, including you, the human body. You always want to be healthy, active, and balanced. That's what makes up healing. With a quantum sensor that uses individually determined frequencies to stimulate specific areas of your body. Researchers like Dr. Carolyn McMacken and Nuno Mina have in their clinical practice the effect of tens of thousands of such frequencies studied and tested. The result of these decades of experience is now available to you. 144,000 gold frequencies all day with an intuitive app that puts the future into your hands. Welcome to Healy World. It's not science fiction, it's science. Well, now you can see what all the excitement is about with the Healy that's coming, like I said, to being shipped right now to doors all around the USA. We do want to show you our disclaimer here because uh, we want to make sure that we're not making any specific health claims for any specific conditions, though we have tons and maybe thousands of testimonies uh, from around the globe sharing just what frequencies can do for the cells in our body. And you're gonna hear a lot more about that from our professionals. And so I believe, Terry, do you have another disclaimer here in case, uh, is, or did you just bring up the product disclaimer on this one? 
So we also have the income uh, dis uh, disclaimer. I wasn't for sure if we had this one in this presentation because there is a business opportunity attached that a lot of people here on this call tonight have locked arms with. So we want you to be aware that we don't make any specific income claims, though we have been turning outcomes to incomes in quite a generous way in about 40, now 43 countries. So you can um, see a full income uh, disclosure on our website, or you can ask the person who invited you here tonight. But without further ado right now, I'm going to pass the mic over to someone um, who was kind of responsible for sharing with someone who shared with me. And it, so if it wasn't for um, people, you know, uh, learning about this information and being willing to pass it on because they want to share in the mission of Healy World, which is to impact the world with this technology, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't have known about the Healy. So Dr. Jim Hayes, are you with us tonight on this call? Dr. I am, Jim? Sheila. There you are. Well, I want to give you kind of a proper introduction, but uh, Dr. Jim is a medical doctor and he, he's on about every other one of these doctor calls because he is on the front lines, usually in the emergency room. But he was introduced to this by a gentleman you're going to hear from later on in the call, who is also a doctor. But Dr. Jim's, the lights came on for you, Dr. Jim, when you saw this technology. I want you to share a little bit about that and where you see the future of, the, of, of this frequency technology going and how we're just catching the front end of what is going to kind of be a new revolution. Over to you, Dr. Hayes. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you, Terry. Welcome, everybody. Um, People have heard my story, but some of you haven't. I was at a medical conference in January in Phoenix, and uh, I actually had a booth with a device that was uh, much, almost six figures to purchase that does what this medical device does, and I was shocked. I met Dr. Steve at his booth, and I said, what are you selling? And he said, he said I'm uh, known as the Hollywood doctor. I treat most of the uh, stars. I'm, I'm known as the quantum doctor, and do you know anything about frequency medicine? And I said, I don't think so. He said, well, you know about lasers, you know about things like that. But he says, I've been treating, and you'll hear from him later, but I'll be, I've been treating patients for 30 or 40 years and teaching frequency medicine, frequency therapy all over the world in universities. I said, that's pretty cool. So he says, let me just show you this little device. Put your finger here. And he said, it will analyze your bioenergetic field. And I said, okay. So I put my finger there. And it said that I had two things. One was job stress. But working in a trauma center, that is definitely true. And then brain disunity. And I said, what is that? I laughed. And he said, that's probably your brain asking for better frequencies to unify and better become better, better efficient for you, to, to uh, work better for you, because you probably multitask, which is definitely true. And I like to, to uh, work hard and, and play hard and have a lot of fun with friends. So he then did it, and he put the uh, little electrodes. He says, I'm going to push the programs at the cloud, because it has all these programs built in it to, uh, to treat you for those two things. And he, so he put the little bracelets on my wrists and he said, do you feel that? You should feel little tingles. I did not. And he said, well, you're probably dehydrated. Go drink a liter of water and come back. And I did, and about 30 seconds later, I could feel that tingles. And um, that's all that happened, about 15 minutes worth of programs. We went out to dinner that night with some new friends and I left the next day, said goodbye, kept in touch with him. He gave me lots and lots of videos about frequency specific microcurrent and has really educated me. And I've spent hundreds of hours and everybody can access the same things that I learned from. And so the strangest thing I've learned that some, some people with just one treatment, whether it's any condition or any disease with one treatment with the old machines that Dr. Steve has used and many doctors around the world have used with one or two treatments and everything is gone because the body optimizes its, uh, its frequencies, its immunity, its, its uh, um, ability to perform, it actually de-ages. And so I weighed 176 then, which I wasn't fat, but my high school weight was 156. And I don't know how in the world Healy knew that I needed to get back to my ideal body weight, but I have ch not changed a thing. My energy level is above the roof. I'm at my ideal body weight and my functioning at work and handling multiple tasks at the same time. Um, has markedly improved. So this device is absolutely incredible. It was discovered by Tesla in the 1900s. I mean, they used his, his, uh, his um, understanding of frequencies and then it was, they treated 
thousands and thousands of patients. The government then suppressed it in the 1930s. It was rediscovered in the 1990s. Tens of thousands of people have been treated all over the world. And this is uh, now that same similar device that is in your smartphone, which I'm amazed. And so basically, just to personalize it a little bit, I have a uh, stepson who's 18. He's six foot two, he's nonverbal autistic, and he understands everything. He actually communicates some, but he can't wait to get the Healy, which he calls the zapper, because we have to give him sleep medicine at night because he just won't sleep. And I saw a testimony the other day from uh, the Australians, this lady was saying and showed her son, he's about nine years old, and she says, we just got our Healy and we're gonna see. And then about three hours later, she, she put another one and he was sound asleep. Jameson saw that and he got really, really, really excited. So I can't speak too much about this. And, and um, it's the most incredible um, medical device I've ever seen. And it, it uses uh, cranial electrical stimulation, optimizes immunity. But the way I see it, because I'm on the front line in emergency medicine, people are asking for pain relief. They're asking for anxiety relief. They're asking you know, to come in with acute injuries. It helps all that and more. Just one last thing. I looked up and I saw that the Cleveland Clinic uh, here. Was using. So he gave me this, but I can now. Yes, Jim. Okay. Yes. Yes, came across this list from the Cleveland Clinic, and we have an FDA clearance, and we have it, it's very specific, but it involves pain, it involves anxiety, it involves acute and chronic pain. So look what they've been treating at the Cleveland Clinic and then other places around the world. Shingles, burns, kidney stones, asthma, irritable bowel syndrome, disc injuries, fibromyalgia, diabetic neuropathy, neuromas, tendinopathy, inflammation, swelling of tendons, acute and chronic long-term musculoskeletal injuries, acute and chronic neuropathic pain, chronic fracture and bone pain, arthritis, torticollis, someone comes in like this, they, they slept wrong, I have to give a medication, but it treats that too, the head is tilted to one side, severe spasm, disc injuries, viscerally referred pain, concussions, headaches, as well as plantar fasciitis. So it basically treats all conditions and all diseases. So Sheila, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share. Well, thank you so, uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Jim Hayes. I really do appreciate you. I'm trying to catch all the mics here. Sorry for that little noise in the background. And we really do appreciate if you keep your mics off unless you have a question here at the end. But Terry Bernier is watching the chat box below if you're dropping your questions there and <clears throat> we'll be, um, We'll be asking some of those questions toward the end. I'm, I was looking around here to see some of who, who is with us as some of our doctors, because we, you know, we have Dr. Gordon Jones, Dr. Charles Quiglis, and Dr. Uh, Artie Singh. And so I'm just looking around for some of those faces. I know, I believe that I see Dr. Quiglis. Dr. Quiglis, are you on here with us tonight? Yes, I am. Hi, Dr. Quiglis. I'm so grateful that you're here and that about three weeks ago, we were on a call and you actually said, Sheila, is there a doctor's call? And I said, well, you know, that's a, that's a great idea to have like a professional call with those who understand frequency therapy and um, from a medical standpoint. And so this was really all your idea and we just ran with it. So tell me what, tell me what actually is going on with you. Everybody, please mute, mute yourself. Hang on, let me just mute everyone. Terry, if you'll help me manage this. I can mute all. And then Dr. Charles, there you go. So Dr. Q, whenever you and I were talking on the phone and I told you about the Healy, I know some lights came on because of what's going on in the world right now and how you're doing a lot of teledoc type um, you know, consulting with your clients as a chiropractor. And you've been uh, a doctor for quite a few years now. I won't tell how many, because I, I know you don't want me to give your age away, but if you'll just tell us a little bit about your background and what you see with the future of Healy. Yes, yeah, I don't mind letting everybody know. I've, I've been practicing for 25 years and um, I've actually been uh, utilizing frequency medicine for, um, between 15 and 17 years. And, um, and I have several different devices that I, that I use. And um, it has been fantastic. I've, I've gotten results that are as close to miraculous as, as, I've, uh, as anything else I've seen. Um, and with this and with, with what's going on in the world now, 
people will be uh, somewhat leery of going and sitting in a waiting room with uh, at a doctor's office because number one, everybody in there is sick. <laughs> so, so they know that for a fact when they go there. And so, but they don't know what the people have. And with this uh, COVID-19, everybody will be, you know, somewhat leery of going into the doctor's office. But with, um, with the Healy, we could actually uh, treat people remotely or we can uh, help them remotely. We might not know exactly what they have, but with the Healy, we're treating the person with the condition and a side effect of what we do in treating them is that their condition gets better. We're not saying we're treating any specific thing, any specific uh, condition or disease or anything like that, but they do respond. And uh, it's a wonderful thing. I love what this, what this has opened up for us as practitioners. Uh, to be able to help people, not just in our uh, city, but anywhere in the world. Uh, we have them order a Healy and we can, uh, if we have the resonance, we can actually do a, uh, a scan with them and find out what's going on and uh, kind of direct them on what, we need, what they need to do to help themselves. And so the, 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 uh, the new healthcare is self-care guided through us. <laughs> so yeah, I, I do. I really like this. This can this can uh, be a blessing to a lot of people in this world. Well, thank you, Dr. Quickless. I know that, you know, we don't want to discourage anyone from going to say their their doctor or their therapist or their or their uh, chiropractor by any means, but what a great way to oh, offer no. them. Yeah, what a great way to offer them a way to to, to actually take better care of their sales energy at home, right? Just with your advice and recommendation. Correct. I think Correct. it's just, I think it's amazing what, uh, you know, as far as like the, even the doctors on this call can bring the value to this team. Cause I know that uh, you'll hear from Dr. Steve that, you know, the, the Healy is just plug and play and it pretty much directs you as to which program you need. But, and we have the advisory board of all the doctors, but, what a great blessing we have to have a team here of doctors like you, Dr. Quiglis and Dr. Hayes, and then of course, um, uh, Dr. Steve, uh, um, who's going to be on in a few minutes. So we have so many other doctors that are even on this call tonight. And if you have some value that you would add, like to add, even excitement, just please uh, drop your name in the chat so that we can recognize you on this call. But thank you so much, Dr. Quiglis, for joining our great team of um you know health enthusiasts here and we like i said we're just attracting all walks of life and we're so great to have you a part of, of this tribe and so now I'm glad I'm, to be part. Thank, thank you sir thank you so much and so now i would um like to bring on uh the gentleman who actually was connected to uh one of the gentlemen who's connected right straight to corporate who sought out this device because he saw what the potential was in it and he's actually been able to experience it for several months now and so he actually shared with dr jim hayes and here we are just it trickled right down through like sharing your favorite movie or your favorite restaurant and and so everybody's excited about sharing the healy but it started with this gentleman i'm getting ready to introduce you to you heard from him earlier asking you to turn off your mics and your video cameras but uh, dr steve small we know that you are the expert in the field a frequency therapy we're hesitant to say medicine but we know that you can say that so we want to turn the call over to you and and just let you share with us kind of why this intrigued you and how you see this being applicable to people all across the world and especially to our usa market right here and in, in bringing this into the homes of, of americans over to you dr steve yeah. well thank you sheila thanks for inviting me on tonight you know, this is really great because this is the first doctor's call we've had since the USA launched last week. And, you know, it's been five months for me of preparing for this moment in time. So you can imagine how thrilled and excited I am that it has actually arrived. I mean, I, I, I've spoken to many of you, many of 
friends and patients who are on the call tonight, fellow practitioners. Um, I've put in probably 18 hour days for the last three or four months with Healy, uh, helping behind the scenes, helping uh, get people the information they need, making sure the systems work uh, for this to launch. Um, I'm really grateful that people have been very patient. Uh, anytime you open up a country like the US with something very, very new, uh, there's always bound to have things happen. So uh, the company apologized for any little glitches that you may or may not be experiencing in places like your back office or in uh, ordering or things of that nature. I can tell you that I'm on, on with them almost on a daily basis getting updated and, and letting them know what is going on here. So they are keeping uh, very currently aware and they're uh, working to make everything uh, as great as possible because we have an amazing device. And so we want all our systems to be as amazing as our devices, but just give them a little bit of time to catch up. And I know that within the next couple of weeks, everything will be handled in terms of everything in the back office, the ordering, et cetera. Uh, it, it has been, it is addressed. And like I said, I am in contact with them. And I just wanted to put that out at the beginning because of course we've all had these little blips that show up, but uh, any new company, especially, you know, um, in two days of releasing this device, they sold $2 million worth of devices. Now, you know, if anyone that's been in network marketing uh, in the past knows that's, that's amazing. This is setting all sorts of records. This is breaking all sorts of records. Just the first two days, we sold more than 5,000 devices. It's so exciting to see this because, you know, I've been in the field of quantum energetic medicine uh, for over 20 years. Um, and prior to that, in the field of functional, nutritional, anti-aging medicine. And so the past 20 years have been just amazing for me because in making that switch, I have been able to take a look at the body from a whole different perspective than I used to, um, and having the ability to see the entire body simultaneously and being able to do a scan on a patient that lets me know exactly what the underlying cause of their issues are, uh, and then being able to treat them almost immediately using uh, frequency therapy um, has just been remarkable in terms of the types of things. Uh, you know, and I, I see everyone from elite athletes in my office to four stage cancer patients and everybody in between. And it doesn't matter where you are or what you have or what your disease name is called. That's not what's important. The important part of this is to figure out what the underlying cause is and then to reverse that. And the ability to use frequencies to do this is just uh, a very easy but remarkable approach. Um, and I can tell you that this device itself has exceeded every one of my expectations. And I have a really high bar because uh, having been in the field for over 20 years, I pretty much experienced almost every frequency device that's been out there on the market, both in the professional and lay people side. And I can tell you that there is nothing out there that compares. So it really is beyond anything that I have ever seen. It's almost like a dream of mine came true because for the last 10 years, I've always hoped and dreamed that someday a device along that I would be able to give a patient after they left the office to tell them to continue the treatment that I was doing with them so that by the time they came back to me on the next visit, they already were progressing in terms of their, uh, of their treatment. And that device, my dream, showed up in November, uh, kind of very interestingly, uh, just literally showed up in my life. Um, and so the first thing I did was to, uh, you know, kick the tires, so to speak, and to make sure it lived up to what they told me it, it could do. Um, and I did. I mean, I had a condition. I won't get into it in detail because we have a lot of other docs that want to speak to. Me. Let's put it this way. I was in a really bad car accident uh, back in the early 90s, with left me, left me with some chronic issues from that uh, to the point where in the last couple of years, I haven't been able to drive. Um, and I tried everything. And even the work that I do, I've got some improvement to some extent, but it always left me with some residual issues. And the day I got the Healy, I started using it on myself. And I looked at the programs that were available and I chose the ones that I felt would be the most applicable to my condition. And I used it on the first night, ran a couple of programs while I was watching TV in the comfort of my home, second night, third night, and on the fourth day, a miracle occurred and that the issue that I had for all of these years seemed to, when I woke up in the morning, disappeared. 
and it continued for the next couple of days. And then I put it to the ultimate test on the fourth day, which was to actually see if I could drive my car again. And so I went out with a buddy and had him sit in the passenger seat, started up my car, pulled out. And to this day, I can tell you that I can drive two hours more by myself alone on a freeway, which I would never even be able to drive up the street um, just a couple of months ago. So as I said, it, it is like Dr. Quigless said, it's almost like a miracle in, in a way. It's almost hard to believe. And then of course, after that experience, I started using it on patients in my practice, friends with all sorts of different conditions, just again to check it out, to make sure that it's, it could do what it can, what they say it can do. And what they say in Germany basically is this, it treats every condition, every situation. You just need to find the right programs and run the frequencies and let the frequencies do the work. And they release a lot of the blockages in our body. They, you know, I'm always, I, I teach all over the world and I teach a couple of different seminars. One of my favorite seminars that I like to teach is the fact that, uh, that inflammation is the underlying cause of all chronic disease. And so what this device is able to do is to work and release the inflammation that's stuck in any of the cells in the body. And once you start removing that inflammation, it's amazing how quickly the body does respond. And what we're doing here is we're working with something called frequency-specific microcurrent. And so the microcurrent part of this delivers into the cells of the body a certain millivoltage that allows us to maintain the optimum level uh, in our cells. Our cells have certain levels. I mean, I like to explain this to, to my patients and lay people. Envision yourself like a flashlight. And as we have flashlights, we know that as the batteries start to get used up over time, that light starts getting dimmer and dimmer until the light goes out and you have to then get new batteries. Well, the same thing occurs in the body. As the cell voltage starts to decrease over time because of inflammation, because of stress, because of other situations, that cell voltage begins to drop. And as it drops to certain levels, certain things will start to occur in our body. Uh, we start to get into uh, inflammatory conditions and chronic diseases and then when that cell voltage drops even further, say 20 millivolts, we start getting into things like tumors and cancers. And when it drops to zero, well, your light is out at that point in time. So what this is, allows us to do is to maintain that optimum cell voltage, that negative 70 millivolt cell membrane potential on a daily basis, thereby recharging all the cells in our body, um, keeping them uh, in, in a really great state of health and then the frequency part comes in, and what the frequencies do is they direct where that energy goes to. They direct specifically what area of the body, which cells, which organs, which systems that the energy is delivered to. So we have a two-pronged approach, and the combination of those two uh, are areas are really what does the balancing, the healing, the, the, the reversal of our conditions. Um, and it's very scientific. I mean, if you look into the scientific literature and you look up in things like PubMed and some of the other areas there, you will see that this has been studied for years. Um, this is not science fiction, it's science. Uh, we have a lot, of, uh, a lot of articles in different journals that back up what our device does. And of course, you know, the fact that we are an FDA cleared device to me is sort of the cherry on top because once you have a device that's FDA cleared and has to go through that rigorous process of being cleared, you can be assured that it, did, it, it met the test of the FDA in order to get approved. Very, very few devices just in general in the field of, of frequency medicine and energy medicine actually do get cleared and almost no devices that I am aware of specifically that go through a network marketing arena have, the, have or are FDA cleared. So we're uh, right away ahead of the game and so when I met Dr. Jim and I spoke to, you know, a room full of say 150 docs that day, the first thing I mentioned to them was that the Healy is in fact uh, an FDA cleared medical class 2A device. And that alone uh, cleared any question anybody would have in that room about the applicability of it, the ability to use it in their office, uh, and also the validity of it, because they all knew in order to get FDA cleared, it had to go through some rigorous uh, bells and whistles, so to speak, to do that. So, um, you know, it, it's the most exciting thing that's come into my hands. And, and what excites me more is that I can now be able to share it with people, my patients, my friends, all of you, and you can share it to everyone. And so the point of view is that 
we're in a paradigm shift right now, I believe, in our world. And one of the things that I have been focusing on for many years is the whole aspect of self-care, to be able to enable and support people into taking the responsibility of their health and turning it back over to them instead of always having to rely on their doctor or health practitioner to get fixed. Now we actually have a device that can be used in the privacy of your own home. It's easy to use, like Sheila said earlier, basically plug and play. Uh, it can be used anywhere, uh, while you work, while you drive, while you sleep, while you're watching television in an airplane, doesn't matter. Um, and you'll find from the very first time you use this device, you will be changed. And it's great because we're really not really having to share anything, all, I mean, sell anything. All we need to do is really share it. Um, anyone I show the device to and I ask them if they'd like to try it um, and we hook them up and as I'm speaking to them they start the process by the end of that session they know they've been changed and the next question they have is I want one of these so I believe personally uh, it's gonna be the easiest thing that you've ever had to offer people out there but again we're trying to get this into everyone's home because we really feel that a new revolution is going on in the field of healthcare. We no longer can rely on pharmaceutical medication uh, and, and that aspect, as we can see now with the, what's happening right now uh, with our uh, situation in the world, uh, with the virus that's around, they don't have an answer right now. They are trying every type of medication out there. Most of them have horrendous side effects, uh, which uh, prevent them from using them. Uh, they're just searching and searching and searching, and we have the answer in our hands. Uh, because they'll never find the answer if they go towards uh, the medication route. But what's really even more exciting to me is the ability to do what is called electroceuticals, which to me is the, is the uh, like I said, the cherry on the top, because the electroceuticals is a whole new arena in medicine, not just the frequency medicine arena, but the traditional medicine arena, because if you search the word electroceutical on Google, you will find that in the last six months or so, there's been dozens and dozens of articles that have come out in places like Scientific American, Time and Newsweek saying electroceuticals are the future of medicine. And now what they're doing is they're developing specific frequencies to replace the use of chemotherapy and other drugs in practice in medicine to alter the side effects that people have. But we have a whole body of now around 75 different substances, all the vitamins, minerals, amino acids, nutritionals that we can call on as needed to deliver directly into all of the cells of our body just by pressing a button, no longer having to rely on oral supplementation. As I said in the past, when you take an oral supplement, regardless of what it is, a vitamin, mineral, you're only absorbing a very small percentage of that. Most of our digestive systems, especially as we age, uh, are, are not functioning, functioning optimally. And so you can never be sure, even though you take, uh, say, a thousand milligrams of vitamin C, how much of that vitamin C is actually getting into the cells of your body. A lot of it gets eliminated from the system. But when you send yourself the frequency of vitamin C, it gets into all of the cells of your body at the 100% level. And so not only are we assuring ourselves now that we have the ability to actually maintain those levels of nutrients that we need, but also think about the fact of how many people you know out there, including yourself, that spends hundreds and hundreds of dollars per month on vitamins and mineral supplements. What if there was a possibility now that you wouldn't have to do that, but when you figured out which of those substances your body was deficient in on a daily basis, all you had to do was press a button and deliver those supplements directly into the body. So that's really what we're offering you here is a real, um, what I consider a, you know, a game changer in the field of medicine. And it couldn't have come at a better time, I feel, because we're going through such a change right now on our planet in every different area. And you know, as I've said in the past, this is the only time in history where every single person on the planet is focusing on the same thing. I mean, when have you ever known that everyone on the planet is thinking of the same thing at the same time. One, everyone is thinking about their health and what they can do to protect themselves. And two, people are starting to think like, how am I gonna live and support myself at this point in time? Because many people are now out of work uh, and, and everyone is at home. Well, we're not only offering you the chance to get the most amazing state of health in your body, but we're also 
offering you a chance of supporting yourself financially. So, I mean, this to me is, um, it just, the time has come is, is the best way I could describe it to you, Sheila. So I'd like to turn it back over to you to speak to some of the other uh, docs online. And of course, I will be more than happy to answer any and all questions that you might have. All right, Dr. State. Every time I listen to you speak, I get uh, more I get more knowledge myself. And uh, of course, I've taken notes listening to you speak many times. And, and so thank you for the value you add to the call. I, before I move on to uh, another one of our guests, I would like to ask you, um, as someone who has the Healy, you know, we have all these doctors on the call tonight and these professionals, but just for the layman like me, when I get my Healy, I don't have to have all your knowledge and understanding. I can just plug my Healy app and it's going to go to work for me, correct? Absolutely. Um, and there's a special uh, part of the app uh, that you can use, which I think is probably one of them, as, as the electroceuticals are, as exciting as the electroceuticals, is the fact that we have what's called an expert database part of our Healy. And what I mean by that is that if you're not sure uh, which one of the programs to run, of course we can scan ourselves and see which particular program that the Healy has decided we need. And that's done through artificial intelligence. And that really is what separates us, Sheila, from all the other devices that are out there on the market, all the other frequency devices you may have heard of, is that we're the only one that has artificial intelligence. And what that allows us, uh, allows, uh, it to do is to specifically for you as an individual exactly which frequencies are going to work for your body irregardless of condition and what I mean by that is we can have 10 people in a 10 of you in the room right now that are all dealing with say a broken arm and if we hooked your Healy's you'll find that each one of the frequencies that are delivered to each of you are totally unique and different and then tomorrow if you were to hook the Healy up to you again because you wanted to continue that treatment you'll find that all of the frequencies that come back on day two are different because you've already begun that healing process. Uh, and I call that dynamic frequencies, where all the other devices that are out there, it's basically what I consider cookbook medicine, uh, which is that you give given a book with a list of frequencies, you're told to look up your specific issue. Um, and when you find it, it says frequency A, B, C, D, you plug that into that device. You use that device, everyone uses those same frequencies, everyone uses those same frequencies every single day. And to me, one size doesn't fit all, and there is no such thing as cookbook medicine. And that's really what sets us apart uh, with the other devices, and that it's very specific and very individualized. But the search function allows you to literally type in any symptom that you currently have right now, or any issue or disease condition, and based on that information, it will tell you specifically which programs it suggests that you run on yourself. So you can have that function too. But then if you decide to choose to also buy the Healy watch, which is an add-on accessory, that watch will take all of your biometric parameters on a daily basis. In other words, when you're sleeping, it'll measure all your levels of sleep, it'll measure your heart rate, your EKG, uh, something called HRV, which is heart rate variability, which is a new component they're using in science to really uh, determine your levels of stress, uh, breathing, and, and other uh, parameters. And then on those parameters in the morning when you wake up, you turn on the Healy app, the watch app, it connects up and tells you how you did for the last 24 hours, but also suggests to you specifically which programs to run and also which electroceuticals you can use. So there are so many ways that you can use this device. And again, you don't have to be a doctor. You don't have to know science. You don't have to know anything about frequencies at all. All you need to know is how to press a button and to follow the directions. It's very clear. It's very easy to follow. Um, and you're given a, a wonderful video brochure that comes along with the device. And when you open up that brochure, it immediately takes you through many different types of videos like the ones you've seen here. So when you visit friends and you want to show them about it and they ask you, well, how does this thing work? You don't really have to say anything. You just literally open up the video brochure and allow it to explain itself. So really, Sheila, it couldn't be easier. Uh, I mean, a seven-year-old can learn how to use this in, in a matter of minutes. Wow. Well, no wonder it's attracting so many people that want to help other people. So we can just allow other people to experience the healing without having to have the expert knowledge 
of the doctors and medical professionals that are on this call tonight, even though we value your opinion, opinions and your direction and advice and knowledge so very much. I want to go on, uh, Dr. Stephen, we'll come back to you with some questions here in a few minutes with, with Terry as she's watch, watching our chat, but is Dr. Singh, are you here with us tonight? Dr. Artie Singh? I know he wasn't expecting me to. Yeah, uh, yeah I am, I'm here. Hey, I wasn't hey, expecting to be on. <laughs> well, you know, we know you're here. We know that you're very excited about the Healy and you're a professional in this space. We'd love to hear your excitement and anything you'd like to add value to our call tonight. Sure, absolutely. I, I think I think Dr. Steve did such a great job explaining explaining the heal, um, explaining frequencies and so forth. Um, you know, and it's all about keeping it pretty simple and straightforward and, and like, you know, simple and stupid. Um, keep it simple, stupid, something like that. That's, that's how it goes, I guess. Um, I've, I've been into, into frequencies for a long time. I, I love the work of Einstein and Tesla. I, you know, I know I'm, that's, that's weird, but you know, it, it's, it's a brain, it gives you a brain freeze when anytime you, you read this stuff because it's so, so deep down and so forth. But what I loved about it was that it really answers a lot of questions about, about us and answers a lot of questions about about our, our, us in terms of our, our bodies and so forth and the frequencies that we have. And, and you know, they've been around for over a hundred years uh, you, in, in terms of understanding and using them because back in the early 1900s, when Einstein said it's nothing but energy, there was a lot of physicians that took that advice from, from, uh, from Einstein and they themselves then started to figure out, hey, what are these frequencies? What are they? What is it? What's the frequency for a liver? What's the frequency for, 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 you know, for any kind of acute issues that are going on in your body, for the brain, and so on and so forth. And there's so many, many, many frequencies. And, and, and they just came up with this. And these guys would then use this with some archaic devices to try to get these frequencies into patients' bodies. And I read some of the work from back then, and it was amazing what was happening because people were actually literally healing from the inside out. And so then they turned this, 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 this concept of that healing and saying that healing is voltage. And as, 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 um, as a good doctor just said, you know, previously, that it's really about changing that, that aspect in the cellular level and the body then starts to heal. And so then later on, I got a chance to, well, let back up for a second. Then, then the government in this country basically shut down all of the frequencies back in the early, you know, in the, in the 1930s. And so nobody was doing that until a brilliant uh, chiropractor, in, in, in my view, uh, Carol McMacken, happened to literally fall upon these frequencies because her, her, her good friend bought a, an office from a, from a guy that used to do these frequencies many, many years ago. And he had a, he had like a book, thick, thick book with all these frequencies in there with specific aspects of how to take care of certain issues and certain and help people heal and so forth. So then she started working with that. And then lo and behold, her first thing she started to do was that she herself had, I think, fibromyalgia, and she started using that on herself, and then she started using, and it, it made a huge difference for her. Then she started using it with her patients. And lo and behold, it just started to expand, and then she started to teach this to the rest of the profession. And, and so I ended up, about three years ago, I ended up learning about, about her. And so I ended up, in, you know, as, ended up learning this stuff, and, and, and she teaches at the Cleveland Clinic uh, every, you know, every year, once a year. And, and I went to one of those last year and it was amazing to see the changes in patients. You had a patient with a frozen shoulder and she would say, ah, is this frequency, that frequency? She'd put the device on her shoulder and bam, you know, they, they, they get the function back. And I can go on and on and on. The bottom line is this, we have an ability now to have a piece of device that we don't even, have to, as Dr. Steve said, we don't have to think about it. It's already pre-programmed with all and what it needs. And Dr. McMacken, I, 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 I bless her in the sense that she figured out what frequency goes where and there. And so in our practice, we literally try to figure out what the frequency and try to then use it. But now we have a tool that can make it that much easier. It's an exciting time we have, we have in, 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 in our ability to really heal from the inside out. As, as Dr. Steve said, we definitely need this stuff because there's too many things that are causing issues in our bodies. And we have way too many people that are sicker than ever before. We have way too many people that have autoimmune issues. It's just continuing to be a huge challenge. And, and modern medicine just doesn't have the tools. And here we are sitting on something that can actually change the dynamics for so many people. 
That's what excites me more than anything else, because it's going to make the change that we all deserve and we need, because we literally are getting the root cause of the problem. And that's what's going to make the big difference. Artie, when you think about it, you know, um, it really is, wasn't even just the 1900s when, when frequency medicine began, because, you know, I started my career out in the 70s when I started practice, and one of the things I studied was homeopathy. And homeopathy goes way back to, like, 1700s. And to me, that is the root of all frequency medicine or energy medicine. In a way, when you think about homeopathy and homeopathic remedies, it's all energetic. So it has a long history. Energetic medicine has a very, very long history. Uh, even in our country, and up until the 1930s, I like to tell people that every physician in the United States was actually a homeopath. Well, that's true. They were. Yeah, they were. Uh, and the original Merck manual, if you have one, I have the very first one sitting on my bookshelf from 1899. Yeah, I, I have one too. It's the guidebook for all docs. And if you look through it, what you see is you don't see any pharmaceutical meds. You don't. There's natural substances, herbs, and homeopathic remedies. The way I look at it is if it worked then, uh, why isn't it effective now? Well, it is. So again, it's the whole idea of, you know, natural medicine versus pharmaceutical medicine and money and power, and it won't go into that. Well, uh, we, we could talk about that forever. Right, right. But the bottom line is, is that um, it, it's just exciting that it's become accessible to the average person now. You don't have to actually be a practitioner anymore to be able to utilize this. We're actually putting it into your own hands so that you'll be able to have the ability to use it. Um, and as I said earlier, it's all about uh, self-care, uh, healing thyself first. So. Awesome, thank you. <clears throat> thank you again, Dr. Steven, Dr. Singh. What excitement that you bring. I know that I, Without bringing up anything specific, I know with my particular we uh, well-being and my <clears throat> my body, I can't wait to get the Healy because I know that just right here at home, I'll be able to address some things that are going on with Sheila. And so, you know, being in the people business, I know everyone on this call tonight, when you heard about Healy, you started thinking about how this can make your life better from a self-care standpoint. And so it's so exciting that, like I said, anyone can get the Healy and start taking charge of their health, you know, right from right from their very own home. I know that in the Dropbox below, Terry, I know you've been looking at some of the questions, but I believe there's a, a young lady that, uh, if I can get back out of my, in my security here on my phone, um, that her name is Amy Eli Elias. Amy, uh, you're a therapist and a functional medicine provider. Uh, are you on the call? Are you still on the call, Amy? I know she dropped something in the chat. She may not want to speak. And Dr. Um, Dr. Hayes actually sent me over her name. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm Amy Elias. Hi. Elias. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Amy. I would just like to hear from you and your excitement about here, uh, what's going on with the Healy opportunity and this amazing product. Well, tonight's my first night learning about it, but I have been a homeopathic practitioner for over 35 years. So I've been using energy medicine and yoga and lifestyle medicine for as long, for f probably 45 years. And um, it's the way I work with my clientele and it sounds really nice. I mean, it would be like lovely to have something that a client can actually take home and, and own ourselves. I mean, I, I work on that through diet, lifestyle, through the epigenetics of everything. And yes, getting to the root cause of an issue certainly is great. And energy medicine is awesome. I mean, sometimes I'll just write the name of a homeopathic remedy on a piece of paper and my client can feel better just in that particular, just in the energetics of the, of the word, of the name. So I'm interested to learn more about this particular product, um, the cost and how we get it and, and all the rest. I would love to learn a lot more about it. Sounds wonderful. Mm. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing. And we do have another presentation coming up tomorrow night. And, and the person who invited you here can send over a full recorded presentation as well with all that information. And we're just so glad we're attracting professionals like you that can that already has a heart for healing. And I know uh, several of my friends and I have some guests on tonight or actually team members that are into homeopathic uh, type of um, you know, healing therapies, and um, I'm just uh, so excited, and I went to them very first because I knew they would catch the vision of the Healy product and the opportunity. Thank you so much, Amy. 
Can, can, I, ask you one, can I ask you one question? Absolutely. Um, yeah. So how is, so this machine or this item is has come onto the market since just a couple of days ago? Okay. At least so, in the United States uh, uh, on May 1st, but it's been used all through the world in Europe and Asia and other countries for the last year. But you need to realize that this device is not a new device because it's based on the original device, which is a doctor's only professional device called the Time Waiver that has been in Germany for the past 14 years, used by more than 2,500 German MDs and practitioners with over a half a million patients. So it's been tested and proven over time. And what basically they did, which was the dream I had, because I have a device similar to the time waiver, they were able, after the last four and a half to five years, I think it cost them $20 million of research, but they were able to shrink the components down into a product that's the size of the palm of your hand and then with the benefit of using the cloud that we have now uh, to be able to store all the 144,000 unique frequencies in a German secure medical cloud. And then with the attachment of the quantum sensor, which can fit in the palm of your hand, to your cell phone, which now has the apps that you need, there's a triangle effect that's made. And through the artificial intelligence, we're able to scan ourselves first, the information goes into the cloud, instantaneously comes down, tells us which programs, and then we can deliver it right from our phone. So it's remarkable. We can't awesome. hear you. Awesome, I know, well, Amy, just a second, Amy, let me unmute you. Okay, Amy, start over, you were muted for a second. So where we, where is the place now, is that, I mean, now that there's the COVID thing and the coronavirus, what's happening with any sort of kind of experiments and people and clientele and patients using this machine with this particular challenge today? Well, that's an interesting question. And the reason why it's an interesting question because the medical team that puts together all the programs and the frequencies that are used got together about a month ago when this whole situation started coming down the path and they said, we need to do something about this. We need to protect all of our people that have this device. And so they got together, figured out the specific frequencies that were needed, came up with a whole different program which is, as, you'll, as people get it uh, in the next couple of days, it's the one that's called the Bioenergetic Balance Program. It's a unique, specific, standalone program. And they delivered it to everyone's Healy for free. So when they turned on the Healy the next day, all of a sudden it said, program update. This program came up and they suggested that everyone that uses the Healy runs this program at least once a day. That's the protection program. That have, that have COVID. I'm not going to address any specific medical conditions by name because we're not allowed to do that. Okay, we're so what about advice, so basically, it basically optimizes that. the immunity for any condition, and we cannot say COVID-19. That, that makes total sense to everyone, I'm sure. Right. So that addresses, hopefully, your question. They're on it. And they have tons and tons of new programs that they shared with me privately a couple of days ago that are coming down the pike real quickly just to let people know they're going to have a whole of animals dogs cats horses they're going to have a program for um for learning a language in six weeks they're going to have a program for anti-aging which includes the frequencies for the stem cells of all the organs in the body they're coming up with a program that has every single emotion and how it relates to every organ and the underlying cause of all disease. Uh, so all of these programs are coming up, specific programs for children, and they'll be showing up every couple of months and you'll have the opportunity if you want to include those programs uh, into your database. We all have the same device, regardless of which edition we purchase. It's just the number of programs we choose to get that we can include in it that allows us to treat other aspects. So hopefully that um, addresses your question. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you, Amy. Okay, so Terry Bernier, are you still with me here? Terry, would you turn on your mic or camera, Terry Bernier? I don't know where my co-host is gone. I'm here, Sheila. There you are. There's beautiful Terry Bernier from Canada. Terry, I know you've been watching the chat tonight and there's been some questions. There's even some more doctors here on the call that have joined our amazing team. I don't know if you saw anyone that would like to share, but I know there's some great questions and Dr. Jim Hayes has been answering as many of those as he 
could possibly while the other doctors have been sharing, but did you notice anything that jumped out of, at you that wasn't condition specific, Terry? Um, there's a few, yes, and some that haven't been addressed. So I'm just going to, Doc Steve, if you'll work with me, I'm just gonna run through some of them and uh, we can get some of them answered. Um, first of all, can you use the Healy if you have a defibrillator? It's, well, there's a couple of contraindications that are, uh, are told as you, as you get the There'll be a lot of material you get to read uh, in the manual and they suggest that it not be used with a pacemaker, defibrillator. Uh, if somebody has chronic epileptic seizures, it may not be a good idea. And also with pregnant women. Uh, not that it has ever caused a problem in any of those conditions, but those are just cautions that they have to put out for medical legal reasons from the onset. Because if we're delivering frequencies into somebody's body that has a defibrillator, pacemaker, epileptic seizures, there is always the outside uh, possibility that those frequencies may cause or could potentially cause a disruption. But there's not been any reported uh, incidences uh, so far. And of course, pregnant and children. Pregnant women, correct. And children, and children. At the discretion of the adult that, uh, that has the child. Oh, okay, perfect. Do you know if the blood pressure is available on the watch, Doc Steve? Uh, they're working on it right now. So the original watch, I have the watch, the, it came down initially with the, with the blood pressure on it and they're fine tuning it. Uh, they told me that within the next week or two, uh, there's been updates in many of those programs and I am hoping myself to, uh, to have them uh, have the blood pressure part of that returned in one of the updates because I was using it for a while and I'll tell you it's spot on, totally accurate. Um, you know, the Healy watch is unlike an Apple watch or a Fitbit band in that this is calibrated to within 4% of hospital medical equipment. And also with an Apple or a Fitbit watch, they can give you the specific parameters of what's going on, but they're unable to do the analysis because legally they cannot do an analysis. We're being a medical device here, we're able to do the actual analysis and let you know specifically what that information actually means and then recommend a program to bring your body based in, back into a state of balance on all levels based on your daily functional uh, you know, uh, physical parameters, which to me is, I use both in and out, you know, both. I go back and forth depending upon uh, how I feel and, and what I want to take a look at on a daily basis. Okay, perfect. How about someone with stents? No problem with stents. No problem with stents. How about someone with a bypass? Again, no issue. No problem. When you use this uh, dog, Steve, with your patients, how do you sanitize it in between your uh, using it with someone else? Well, the only uh, area that comes in contact with the patient would be the, uh, the electrodes. And I uh, use alcohol swabs. And so if I'm going to put the wrist electrodes on another patient, I just make sure that when I'm done, I just wipe the, uh, the wrist straps with uh, alcohol swabs, let it dry, and then it's okay for the next patient. Okay, perfect. Someone had, if someone's had a former stroke, is it okay to use it? Yes. Okay, what about if they have a hip replacement, back surgery, and they have metal inserted into their body somewhere? Great question. So as you know, there are many different ways of applying the device into the body uh, via the wrist electrodes. Another technology that we can use are the actual pads. They look like the EKG pads that you may have had if you've ever had an EKG. Those are done uh, when you're dealing with pain issues primarily, but uh, as long as you don't put them directly over metal, you're fine. You can put them around the area, but you don't want to put the pads and deliver the current directly over a metallic implant in the body. Perfect. What about vestibular migraines? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Perfect. For, no problem with yeah, that. That's cleared in, the, in Europe. Uh, you know, we have a very small, unfortunately, you know, every country is different. Our FDA has very tight rules in terms of what we can and cannot say. Uh, we are limited uh, with our device, with our FDA classification to talk mainly about pain and those types of issues. But I can tell you in Europe, they have 10 different classifications they're, they're allowed to use. And in Europe, you're allowed to say that it treats migraines. So you can just put two and two together and say, well, same device. Right, okay. Um, just a minute, I had a few more questions that I picked out here. 
if someone wanted to know the difference between static and dynamic frequencies, if you just want to clarify that. Again, static frequencies mean that the frequencies don't change. They don't change for each individual for that condition, and they don't change over time. From day to day, you're basically using the same set of frequencies over and over again, where dynamic means that it changes. And again, <clears throat> with the ability to have our bodies scanned and then immediately using artificial intelligence in the cloud, it selects for us the specific frequencies that are needed at that moment in time for that specific condition, and that changes day to day to day. So it's always keeping up with where your body is every single day. It changes as your, but we have dynamic bodies. We change every day. The healing matches us in that it changes every single day. And everyone that treats themselves for that same condition, it's different. It'll give you a different unique set of frequencies that are specific to your particular body and your particular system. That's the difference. Okay, perfect. And we had a question. We have a 14 day uh, return, correct, Doc Steve on that? Yes, we do. Okay. What's okay. the difference between what's the difference between uh, vibrational and frequency medicine, or are they the same? Well, I mean, vibrational medicine is the is the broad category that frequency medicine fits inside of. So, vibrational medicine can include anything like PEMF, electromagnetic frequencies. It can include things like uh, homeopathy can be considered in a way in the in the field of vibrational medicine. It's just a category, and so frequency specific microcurrent and cranial electrical stimulation are subcategories of vibrational medicine. Okay, perfect. And does it have an application for infections such as parasites and bacteria and fungus? There is a specific program that is specific to things like bacteria and infections. Okay, perfect. Um, now, there was, a, there was a question about Canada. Uh, I know I'm in Canada and you know as when it, we will get Health Canada approval uh, we do not have a specific date yet for Health Canada approval. We're hoping, you know, I know that the company is working on it now that the United States is opened. So we're hoping to get that approval, you know, as, as, as soon as possible. But it might be, a, you know, a, a couple of months uh, for sure. I think, uh, you know, they're, they're estimating about September. So hopefully, hopefully sooner. Um, I was going to be right behind Dick Terry. Yes. Jim. Can I ask the doc one question? Oh, absolutely. You know, it seems kind of almost like hype to some people, and I would understand that, that, we, that the Healy treats all diseases and all conditions, but at the same time, we don't make any specific claims. Could you go over that? You know, it's, we're all, everything is composed of frequency. I mean, you know, Einstein said it best. He said in the 1950s, the future of medicine is frequency medicine. That's his direct quote. And um, as we talked about earlier, Tesla, his quote was, if you want to understand the secrets of the universe, look towards vibration, frequency, and energy. Two of the most renowned quantum physicists of our age made that statement. So since everything is composed of energy and everything is composed of frequency, then the answer to treating any imbalance would be the use of frequency, because that's what we're all composed out of. And so that's why they make that statement of being able to pretty much treat everything. Because if you treat like with like, then chances are you're gonna create a resonance in the body. And that resonance that you're creating with the frequency that matches that condition, that organ, that symptom, et cetera, is going to eliminate it. I mean, it's the old, um, I I'm gonna I'm gonna give away my age here, which is- I just turned 58. Don't give away mine. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, um, there was used to be an old commercial on television, I remember in the 70s, that was called, is it live or is it Memorex, you recall back, when they were doing Memorex cassette tapes. And what they, they basically did is they had Ella Fitzgerald in a booth, and then in another area of the booth, they had a champagne glass. And when she hit a high note, all of a sudden the glass shattered. Well, why did it shatter? Because Ella Fitzgerald hit the resonant frequency of the glass. And when she did that, it broke apart. Um, and then they played the recording of Ella and it broke apart just to prove that they could actually repeat that particular Well, it works in a similar way uh, in the body. Deliver the right frequency into the body, it shatters the imbalance, the blockage, the inflammation, whatever it is that is, uh, you know, preventing the body from being in its, you know, state. And they always say, uh, you know, on the rudimentary level, pain is actually the blockage of energy in the body. And once you remove that blockage, you have 
inflation to the area and there's no longer pain. So it's all tied in on, on that level when you get down to it. It's true with scars too. Exactly. And Thank the device you. does have a scar program on there specifically. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Um, we, I am skipping again. Uh, we're not uh, talking about any specific diseases or any specific conditions. So those will not be answered if you ask in the, in the chat. Uh, we do have a question, Doc Steve. What's the difference between with the, the device being cleared by the FDA and approved by the FDA? Well, the FDA doesn't approve devices. The FDA approves medications and, and specific medical treatments, whereas it clears devices. It's just another, there, if you go into the FDA site, fda.gov, you'll see uh, the different categories they have. And there's a category for medication and a category for devices. And so that's the classification that the FDA uh, uses for uh, recognizing uh, legitimate devices. They call it medication they call it approving okay perfect if someone had like epilepsy and hasn't had a seizure for like 20 years would you still say it would be okay well you know i would try it first without using the actual uh you know electric per portion of this so in other words you can use the device uh both being attached to it and using it in your area uh meaning that without having to use the electrodes or the pads and just deliver the frequencies first and see what happens when you're, while you deliver the frequencies without uh, delivering the underlying microcurrent and see. And if you're okay with that, uh, you may want to start out. And what I would say to you is if somebody wants to treat somebody that does have, a, um, that does have uh, seizures or, for example, um, you know, has a, uh, some other uh, electrical uh, condition, um, or uh, an implant, et cetera, they may want to start by, if they use the electrodes, using on their ankles first, you know, further away from that part of the body first, and ultimately moving it up. So then maybe the second or third time they may want to try it on their wrists and then ultimately use it, um, uh, you know, on the ears and stuff. So uh, that is a possibility. I'm, I'm not, re it's a contraindication. So obviously I can't recommend you do that, but that's just a suggestion that you may want to run the device first somebody with a pacemaker or epileptic seizures in the mode where it just delivers the frequencies only and doesn't get a lot of benefit just by delivering the frequencies itself. Okay, so yes, and, and I think if it's suggested that you don't, then you, you know, you're know you using it at your own risk, I would exactly. say that, right? That's so, what it is. That's right, right. Yeah. Okay, well, here's something that I have, um, as I you know give presentations, Doc Steve, and we talk about the um, the voltage, membrane voltage of a healthy cell. And, you know, I always say, well, it's minus 70 millivolts. Why is it minus 70 millivolts and not plus 70 millivolts? Well, you're moving, and that's a whole, that's a whole course in chemistry. So oh. I'll just give you the short side of it, which is that, you know, it's, it's the exchange of, um, of sodium potassium ions in and out of the cell uh, and so the negative is what actually, uh, if you can look at it, is it kind of draws it to the positive ion. You know, we're made of, we're composed of negative and positive ions in the body. And so it's an attraction and that, that brings the material either in or out of the cell is positive versus negative. So the negative actually draws the energy into the cell itself. And that's why it's known as negative uh, millivolts, but it's just, just a term uh, to be able to determine how electric the negative electric. Interesting thing is everything is negative that is good in medicine. When we find a positive finding, they have cancer. Right. Exactly. And also, it's related to pH. So that relates to the you know level of sodium uh, um, in the cell, and it, re it relates to a higher level of pH. And we've always been told that you want to become as alkaline as possible in the body. Uh, so you want to raise your pH, and the voltage is uh, intimately associated with the pH. Okay, perfect. Now, Doc Steve, if, if I had my Healy and I was traveling around the world, will I be able to use my Healy in every country? Oh, absolutely. As long as you have a connection to the internet, um, you, which you can pretty much in every country, I believe, um, you will be able to use your, your uh, Healy. But Steve, you can still use it even in an airplane without having to have the internet because you have the programs. You're anxious or you have pain or... Right, you just download like the that. programs you need and then you can use it without that. 
you just need it to download. The, the, it only takes 30 seconds to be able to download it. I mean, even on a plane these days, there is a hookup on most planes I've flown on to Wi-Fi in the plane itself. So even if you were in a plane and you wanted to just download a couple of the programs and you can do it and immediately shut it off because after 30 seconds, even the scan itself only lasts 30 seconds. Because the question that I get mostly asked, and I'm, I'm curious that I didn't get asked that tonight unless it's in the list, is everyone asks me about 5G uh, and how does this work, uh, you know, along with the whole, whole aspect of people being, you know, afraid of 5G. Well, the Healy itself, the Healy device itself, does not put out any uh, type of uh, electrical uh, or electromagnetic in interference that you need to worry about, because I tested this in two separate occasions with two different people that had various types of Gauss meters and other electronic devices, I actually turned the Healy on, had it running on somebody and have them with all of their electrical equipment measure it. It wasn't putting anything out, okay? It's basically Bluetooth to your phone. And then again, you're able to turn it off in 30 seconds and put it in airplane mode. So you at most get 30 seconds, but look, I mean, I then put it back to the person and said, if you're so worried about 5G, then why do you even have a cell phone itself? You know, that's the concern. So it's kind of an interesting topic there. We're only using it for 30 seconds. Twice. There's no appreciable um, radiation that's put out by the uh, out of concern. But even more importantly is that Healy does have a whole uh, set of what they call the protection programs that are dev designed specifically for all types of things like electromagnetic radiation. So if you're somebody that's being exposed to it, say you work in an office where there's a lot of computers around or that kind of a situation, well, you just run the electromagnetic radiation protection program once a day, or once a week, or however you think it's often to do that, and it will eliminate and balance your body to release that amount of electrical radiation you may have accumulated over time. Okay, perfect. And Doug, Steve, if you if a therapist has a Rife machine in their in their clinic and then they have the Healy and they were running at the same time, would they affect each other? No, not at all. Not at all. Um, I mean, uh, when you say affect each other, there's a different range of frequencies that we're using than right frequencies are. They're in a whole different category and a whole different range. We have a much wider range. Uh, we, we're from uh, one to one million hertz in terms of the range we use. Uh, the Rife devices use a much, much, much narrower range. Um, and, uh, they're applied differently. So uh, there's no, you know, um, interference, but I think people that have Rife devices, once they get a, their hands on Healy, uh, they may be putting their Rife machine in the closet uh, because, you know, it's like anything else. I mean, I, my device that I use on my patients cost about $40,000. I have been introduced to hundreds of different devices over the years. A lot of companies, because they know me, they know that I'm somebody that's pretty well known in the field. They will actually gift me a device. They want me to try it out, endorse it, et cetera. And so I've used dozens and dozens of different devices that are out there in all sorts of classifications. And I use them for a while just to check them out. And they all wind up in my closet ultimately, because you'll find uh, that there is nothing out there right now that's as technologically advanced and as good as the Healy. And you'll know it this first time you hook yourself up and try it. Okay, perfect. And what if um, someone has an EMF protector on their phone? Uh, would it interfere with any downloads or scans or treatments? No, no, not at all. No. no. I, okay, perfect. And can a Healy trigger defib? Not that I'm aware of. Okay, perfect. And uh, yeah, that I think we've ran to the end of the questions. Wow, we whipped through those really fast tonight, Doug Steve. <laughs> can I ask one more? Sure. sure. A lot of ahead. people have uh, PEMF. Can you run them simultaneously? Uh, sure. Uh, no, no problem. Um, PEMF uh, to me is more of a static device. I mean, I have a PEMF device in my office because, you know, you get, you, you start to accumulate technology and every couple of years, new technology comes out that replaces old technology. For me, uh, you know, PEMF devices are, are great. Um, I, you know, have one in my office, so obviously I thought it was good, but I felt that the Healy is absolutely the next step up um, in terms of, that's actually an exponential step, because the PMF devices, unfortunately, are more static devices. You have a very few level of choices of frequencies that you can run, and everyone gets that same frequency, and every time you lay on that mat, for example, and you're treating something, you're treating that condition with the same same frequency base for every single person every single day. And 
And I'm the, I'm a type of a guy that from day one has always been a no, there is no such thing as one size fits all. I mean, I always say that with my patients when they ask me about a diet, is this a great diet? And I always say to them, well, there is no really great diet because if there was a phenomenal diet, everyone on the planet would be on the diet and be losing weight and looking great. And the whole, the truth of the matter is, it's all about the individual. So in my office, we do something called a metabolic weight management program. We design diets specifically for that patient based on all of their biochemical parameters. And uh, it's very individualized. Well, that's what the Healy does. It's specific and very individualized uh, and treats you uh, on that level as opposed to a one size fits all approach. And uh, someone asked, can, it use to, can you use it to evaluate the response to other therapies or devices? Uh, you can actually, especially, you know, HRV, heart rate variability, is a technology that's been around for a number of years now. I have one of those devices in my office too. And heart rate variability is a great device in that it allows you to assess how a per person is when they start out. You, you have them go through any kind of a treatment protocol and then you reevaluate their HRV and you can see the change right there in your eyes. So yes, if you have the watch, uh, which has the HRV capability, you can actually do the HRV test uh, on the person, use a different uh, type of therapy on them and then reevaluate them to see how that has changed. And based on that uh, level of how your autonomic nervous system responds, usually is a good indication of whether that therapy is effective for that patient. Okay, perfect. And another question, we're just getting a few more in because we're going to call it, um, let me see, it's 20. We just go on for just a couple more minutes and I'm going to call Sheila Harrison in and uh, we'll wrap up this call. But there are a few other things. Um, how is it different to FSM? For FSM. I don't know what FSM what is. What is FFM? FFSM. Frequency specific microcurrent. Well, that's, I mean, frequency specific microcurrent is basically what we're talking about is the ability to apply frequencies to a microcurrent. Now there are different types of frequency specific microcurrent devices. Um, we use a one channel device. Carolyn McMakin uh, uses a two channel device and it's just in the matter of how you deliver the frequencies. So that's the, but the principle behind it uh, is basically the same principle, just a different way of uh, delivering it. Okay. And it is that, two, sorry. Go ahead, Jim. Yep. Isn't it true that they, that that's, uh, I think it's, uh, if I memorize the right, 20 hertz to 800 hertz on the, the other device you talked about? Yeah. Uh -huh. So we go up to a million hertz. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Much higher realms because the much higher realms uh, work on the, uh, you know, the lower realms. You'll find when you get the device, something very interesting. Everybody will notice when they do their first treatment. Especially if you look, I suggest you look at the actual readout either on your phone or you can actually attach this to a pad also, an iPad or, or a, uh, an Android pad. You'll see as the device uh, actually is running, it tells you specifically which frequencies are coming down from the clouds. You can actually see and they change about every 10 seconds. You'll notice all the frequencies that are in the lower range, things like anything from one to you know a thousand, you will start to really feel the tingling in your fingers and your hands. And as you get to the higher frequencies, like 300,000, 400,000 and higher to a million, you really may not feel those frequencies as specifically on the physical level. And the reason is because those frequencies in that range are really treating more of the emotional body, the mental body, the spiritual body. So that's why we have a much broader range. Those other devices like the PMF devices and the Rife devices are primarily devices that are used to treat physical conditions. Whereas the Healy treats all conditions, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, on all levels. We have some beautiful programs that work with chakras, meridians, and things of that nature, and they all use the upper level range of frequencies. Okay, perfect. And um, how long should it, we've, I think we've discussed this before too, how long should a treatment last and how frequently would you need to use it on someone with maybe a more serious condition? Uh, the frequencies are all different times. Uh, usually the average for the electroceutical delivery is about 20 minutes. And the average for a uh, program, a specific program, like the ones I was using, the nervous system programs, run somewhere between 40 and 50 minutes. Um, it's recommended you don't do more than three therapies in a single day. And in terms of the number of frequencies or times you have to run it in order to eliminate a condition, I mean, that's totally individualized. 
but I can just say from my own personal experience that I had a condition that I've had for over 20 years, pretty significant, and I ran the device three days in a row, and I have not to this time, and that was three months ago, ever had to run those same programs again, and my condition has been resolved. So it's a very individualized thing. Some patients find, I mean, I've treated patients in my office for certain pain conditions that one session immediately eliminated it. And if you listen to any of Carolyn McMakin's uh, 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 seminars that she gives on, uh, on YouTube, she'll tell you that, you know, people that have, for example, with, in her office with her frequency device, come in with fibromyalgia, which is a very difficult disease to address because of the various types of symptoms and syndrome that it is. And she has found that within one session uh, with her frequency-specific microcurrent device, she's been able to reduce pain levels of 10 down to two in one session. And in just a few sessions, her patients tell her that the issues they were dealing with for 10 and 20 years are resolved. So again, I think you'll find out there that, um, that it will address your conditions in a very quick period of time, and which leads us into the whole other exciting realm of what I think is going to be really the, the great part of the Healy is the whole idea of preventive health. So not only can we treat the conditions that we currently are dealing with now, but we always want to get to that place where we're dealing in the, in the arena of prevention. And I've always been on the forefront since the 70s of the whole idea of preventive medicine, which is once you get into that state of balance, you want to do things on a daily basis to prevent anything from occurring. And the Healy is the most amazing device because if you run it on yourself every day and you scan yourself, and you run the programs it recommends, well, you will be in balance. And if your body's in balance, you don't get disease. So that to me is the ultimate goal for everyone is to get into that place where they're using the Healy and the Healy Watch on a preventive basis every day, as opposed to having treating a condition. Exactly, Doug Steve. That's where I see it too, is preventative medicine. Mm -hmm. um, now here's a question about compliance. And then we're just going to, and I have two questions that I'm going to ask you, and then we're going to, uh, no more questions because we've gone on so long. So first of all, yes, we can say it. Someone says, well, in Europe, you can say it treats any condition in any disease, right. but based on uh, what the Healy is cleared for in the U.S., uh, it would seem to me that that phrase could be problematic with the FDA. That's why I'm not saying to do that. I said in Europe, they do that. Did you notice that I pre pre prefaced it? You did. You in did. Europe, in I mean, Europe, Europe, say in that. Europe, it's legal to say that. So I said okay. in Europe, they say, but in the U.S. we have our guidelines. So we are restricted per se in terms of what we can say uh, that the Healy is able to do, but in Europe they're able to say a lot broader. And what I was just trying to make the point of, just for people here on this call, is that if that is the case and it's the same device, draw your own conclusions in terms of what that means. Perfect. Okay, and we can use it on Android and iPhone. That it's on Android and iPhone. It, it does need to be, I don't remember the exact specifications, but most people that have a, a device that they've had over the last three or four years, it's not a problem. Okay, perfect. And the last old device from 10 years ago that you're still using, it may not work, but anyone that's out there with a phone right now that's pretty current up and they keep it upgraded, you should be able to use the device. And on tablets also, by the way, you don't necessarily have to only use it on a phone. You can use it on a tablet, which is what I'm going to be switching to shortly because um, I don't want to have my you know, phone tied up necessarily with having to you know, have that running. So I'm uh, in the process now of, uh, of purchasing a small tablet and then I'll put the apps on the tablet and then use that exclusively with my Healy and that'll be my own little. Hmm. That's, a, that's a good idea, Doc Steve. Okay, well, we have to, um... We have to close it out. And I just want to ask you one other question, which is someone asked you what kind of, what type of doctor are you, Doc Steve? I have a DMD, NMD, OMD, and ND. So my degrees are in nutritional medicine, orthomolecular medicine, uh, naturopathic. And I actually started out in, uh, at the University of Pennsylvania in the 70s in the field of dental medicine. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Uh, you you were like and a BA and a BA. As my father used to say, I got to close with this because it's always funny. He said, when I was going through school and getting all of these, you know, various degrees, he said to me, well, I know what you are, what you want to be when you, when you finish. You're a professional student. <laughs> you ever well, have to go out and practice, he would say to me all the time. You know, I'm the type of guy that I just am always, you know, studying and taking courses and teaching and whatever. And I just, over the years, I felt that those, uh, 
those programs, that postdoc degrees that I accumulated were all uh, important for where I was heading towards and the things that I was doing. So I continue to learn uh, all the time. So I'm up to date with exactly all the technology, i.e. the Healy. Well, thank you, Dr. Steve. You're a wealth of information and I can't tell you how much we appreciate you and all of the doctors on the call tonight that uh, spoke and all of your knowledge. Uh, Sheila and I appreciate it a million percent. So I'm gonna bring back Sheila Harrison and uh, turn it back over to you. <clears throat> thank you, Terry. I really do appreciate um, all of your partnership with all of our calls and um, thank you so much for just staying in tune with the people. You're such a people person and you relate to all of the people that are asking questions. Thank all of you for joining the call and giving us your time and energy tonight and for participating in the chat below because your questions are important and getting those answered and getting you the clarity and the conviction and the confidence you need to either uh, get a Healy for yourself or to join us in this great movement. We are here to get that clarity for you. And so we're so glad that you're here with us tonight. Thank you again, Dr. Jim Hayes, Dr. Charles Quigless, Dr. Artie Singh, uh, Amy, and Dr. Steve Small. Thank you so much for contributing to our third Wednesday night um, Healy Health Call. We know that Healy's got you intrigued, so head on over to ChooseHealy.com to see tons of Healy testimonials, hear reviews on the Healy technology, and how to easily get your hands on this game-changing and disrupting opportunity to support you, your family, your community, your clients, and your patients. We look forward to you scheduling a time to experience the Healy Resonance device from wherever you are. So head on over to ChooseHealy.com to receive all the information you require and to schedule your Healy Resonance experience today. You'll be glad you did. Get ready for the new paradigm of affordable energy medicine. It's here today and waiting for you. Choose Healy.com.